Well, here we are in a fabulous uh, warehouse space in Louisville, Kentucky. Historic building dates back to the 1800s and the Civil War. But we thought it was a perfect setting to talk about the Ferris Cigar and the Ferris Project and thinking about all the history that's taken place in this very building. We launched the Ferris Cigar back in July of this year, a cigar that's named after my grandmother, Lois Ferris, an uh, incredible lady, uh, very inspirational, had a great impact on my life. And I videotaped a segment that, that's on our website that talks about my grandmother, that talks about what she's meant to my, to my life and many other people that she touched throughout her life. And we then had the idea, why don't we invite other people to take time out of their life and sit down and write a tribute to somebody that's had that kind of effect on their life, somebody who's mentored them, someone who made a different uh, difference in their life, a husband, a wife, a grandmother, a neighbor, a coach. So we put this invitation out and the result has been beyond what we could have ever imagined would have happened. We have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. We all have some story to tell but we're not very often in life invited to tell it. This is not an illusion. <laughs> These are the Donahue brothers. We've all heard of the Donahue brothers, and I want to welcome you to Louisville, Kentucky, fellas. Mark, nice to meet Mike, you did I get it right? Yes. Good to see you guys. Let's tell the story about when we were born. Sure, <clears throat> sure. Now this is a day when they just used a, st a stethoscope to hear and monitor a heartbeat. And for twins back in the day, they would hear two heartbeats. But Mark and I were actually laying on top of each other and our heart was beating simultaneously. Oh, wow. So he dispelled to my mom that's not gonna happen. Day of the birth, um, mom winds up uh, cesarean section. I get plucked out, and then the doctor's <laughs> like, uh, well, there's another one in there. <laughs> and my mother at that point oh, was in a panic. She had no idea how to deal with the one. Um, I didn't communicate well with my father. I mean, he was there to support us and help us. And, and we talked, but I never really shared my heart with him. And I think it was, on, he passed away on a Friday. On Wednesday night, I was sitting up with him. We took turns sitting with him at night. and. Something just compelled me to open up and talk to him and tell him how much I appreciated the things he had done for me in my life. So I just went through a whole bunch wow. of stuff and I was able to open up my heart. It was hard. I cried through most of it, but I was able to thank him for all the things he had done in my life. There was a period in my life where I was unemployed for a period of time in my life. I didn't have any money. I was really struggling. My dad would stop at my house on his way home and give me a bag of groceries. It's so, stories like that, and, and I'm glad you shared that because it, uh, it gives me cold chills, frankly, to, and it causes me to remember my mother's passing. Ferris story, I was fascinated by the size of your family. Yep, I'm one of 12 children. I'm the fifth of 12, and uh, the inspirational people in my family are my parents. You know, my, my mom, you know, she'd get up every morning and shuffle a loaf of bread out on the table and make you know 20 sandwiches for lunches and she knew who liked mustard who liked mayo and she rarely screwed that up <laughs> uh, and uh, and she just always did stuff for other people she never right. never did anything for herself and um, she uh... you know you think about your mom and dad obviously uh, I saw the letter that you wrote mm -hmm. to your mother and father on your wedding day mm -hmm. is that right that you, yep. you read the story to them yeah, it was success a... means something different to everyone but to me I think of my parents when I hear the word success. If I do nothing in life except raise a family as you have, I will be the most successful person in the world. You have taught me that family is the most important thing in life and that happiness is only real when shared. I am a better man because of both of you. I love you both more than you will ever know. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And, and you know, maybe we're doing some small thing here. To, to, to say to people, you know, stop, think, be thankful, inspire, be inspired, and who knows where we can go from here. But I, I, I want to thank each of you and uh, call you all friends and uh, have a toast 
right. Thank you, Ted. Thank, thank, thank you, Ted. Appreciate it. It's a great, great idea. idea. Great. Cheers. Great. Thank you. Great job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. That was a great ending story. So here, here's Gold the coin. coin. Shark Weekend. We should do a Tetra. So the Tetra started in 1986. You flip it over. And there's the boat, the bean bags, the barbecue, and then around. You should have told this story from the beginning. This is fantastic. So around the around the back, it says brotherhood, family. And whatever, because my dad, if you backed him in the corner, he'd go, whatever. <laughs> so we had to throw whatever hey, on that is, I mean, that's a story. You should have written your story about well, that. I could have. I could have done. That is fantastic. Yeah. Somebody's got a lot of stories. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.